What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Series 12 in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an absolute banger of a certain team that features Groudon, Yvelta, Venusaur, and Charizard. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. we got tons of new content coming along the way, so you guys don't want to miss out. And it only takes a second of your guys' time. You just got to like scroll down like two inches on your screen and blip. Click that little subscribe button and then you subscribe to the channel and you support me as a content creator. So seriously, shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. But let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Groudon. Cannot have a Sun team without this Pokemon because it, because it is just the best Pokemon to set the Sun. It honestly is. You just cannot have a Sun team without this Pokemon. I, I feel like you can have a Sun team. I mean, you can use Torkoal, but it's not going to be as good as the Groudon one. But we're rocking out with the Drought, the weakness policy as Sun. And we got Precipice Blades for Stab, Fire Punch for Coverage. Technically, not really Coverage because it hits so hard in the Drought. But then we got Protect and Stone Edge for our coverage move. Right next to him is going to be our second restricted mana, and that is going to be Yvelta over here. Dark Aurora ability, Assault Vest as his item, and then we got Snarl for special attack drops, Oblivion Wing for stab damage and HP recovery, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and then we got Foul Play for big damage on some physical attackers. I really like Yvelta in the series. I think he's going to be very, very prominent because, like, you know, he was solid in the previous series. But now that you can have two Pokemon, you can have a really, really good Pokemon and form a team around it, such as Groudon here, and then have him as a back end Pokemon to counter up on Shadow Rider Calyrexes, Urshifus, and all that good stuff. Plus, it's really, really beefy with that Assault Vest. So, cannot wait to bring this thing into battle and just dominate from there. Middle left is going to be Venusaur. And Venusaur is just an absolute menace. Definitely S tier in this series. Super, super strong. Anytime it's in the sun, it is just overpowered in my opinion. It's got that cooler fill ability to double its speed in the sun. We got the Cobra Berry so we can eat up an airstream move or a flying move, whatever you want to call it. Then we got Sludge Bomb, Energy Ball, both for stab. We got Earth Power and Weather Ball for our coverage moves. Right next to him is going to be another amazing sun Pokemon. That is going to be Charizard over here. We gave it the solar power ability, so it does more damage in the drought. We got the choice scarf, so it can pretty much outspeed anything. Then we got Blast Burn for big stab damage, Air Slash for stab damage, Solar Beam for big heavy coverage move, and then we got Heat Wave for double hitting stab move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Regilecki. Nice little support build on this one, and I actually really, really like this. It's kind of different from all the Regileckis we've been using. We got Transistor as its ability, Light Clay as its item, and then we're rocking screens on him. We got Reflect, Light Screen, and then we got E Web for Speed Control and Thunderbolt for our lovely stab hard hitting move. Final Pokemon for the squad is a support mod. It's going to be Umbreon over here. I absolutely love Umbreon, especially on Sun Teams. I feel like it just pairs perfectly with everybody on this team and just works well in every situation. We got Inner Focus, so we can't be faked out. We got that Chapel Berry. Then we got Strong for special attack drops, Helping Hand to make Ally Pokemon do more damage. You want to put Pokemon to sleep and Foul Play for big damage on physical attackers. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rent the code is at that bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with this Groudon and Yvelta Series 12 Sun Team. I've been having a blast on the Series 12 ladder. It has definitely been refreshing and it feels like something brand new. So hopefully we keep that feeling with us and just keep riding out and dominating in Series 12. But we're hopping into our first battle for today's video. Going up against a Kyogre and Solgaleo team that also has Tornadas. Obviously, you cannot have a Kyogre team without Tornadas. And then you have Entei, Rillaboom, and Grimstone. So, pretty cool team. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I'm thinking we got to bring Groudon. Just kind of counteract on the drought. I think Regilecki could be a great lead for speed control and setting up screens. So, I'm going to lead him. I definitely want to bring Groudon, but I don't want to lead Groudon. Makes sense? I think it makes sense. So, we're going to rock out with that. We might bring Venusaur here. We could go Venusaur, Groudon, and Yubelta. I kind of do dig that. I am actually digging that. Do I lead the Yvelta, though? Do I lead that lovely little Yvelta? We know that Solgaleo is probably weak this policy, right? So we definitely have to watch out for that. So you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to go in with exactly what I said. And we're going to try to get after the battle this way. I am liking the team, but yo, Series 12 is definitely scary. You're going up against your opponent, and they have so much to just, like, counter you with. There's just so many different options that he can lead, that I can lead. It is just... It's pretty hectic, Series 12. We're not even going to lie. Because, dude, he has a Kyogre. He has a Solgaleo. Both of those just pose such a big threat. So then pairing up with certain Pokemon could really do me dirty. He could also go in with that Solgaleo Entei lead. We know he's weak to policy. We know that Entei rocks Bulldoze. He can just send that out there and get after the battle that way. But we'll see what he does. I do think he's going to go into that combo. Maybe I should have played off of that. I could have definitely played off of that. And maybe just went into Charizard as lead and then swap into Groudon. And just drop like a G-Max Wildfire. You kind of just get ripping from there. But the reason I didn't want to bring Charger is because it's going to be a weather war. It's going to be an absolute weather war. Let's see who he leads. He goes Tornadus and Solgaleo. Okay. No, Tornadus and Shiny Solgaleo. That thing looks absolutely amazing. 
pop out here for battle number one um okay we have Regilecki. we have lovely little venusaur here i do not i'm not rocking sleep powder on this thing so we could obviously just go straight into tailwind i could set up a reflect which could be really really good for us and i think that's what i'm gonna do i think i'm just gonna set up a reflect and i could just go I could just go sludge bomb in here i could dynamax and actually set like the the pester damage out that could definitely be our play and that might have to be our play we'll see we might go into a tailwind here but we're just gonna set up a reflect here get that physical damage out of here and then we'll kind of roll off from there kind of with that all day but i do wonder what he's gonna go for here he's gonna go for dynamax tailwind and then maybe just maybe take out my regilecki because that could be tough if that happens could definitely be tough if i had to guess he's gonna dynamax and set up a tailwind right we're just kind of hoping he's not going after regilecki or maybe regilecki could just straight up outspeed it we'll see but there's dynamax from solgaleo saw that coming from ten thousand miles away I didn't even need binoculars to see that. Did not even need a microscope, nothing, telescope, nothing. We saw that from a mile away. Once we saw those little feet come out of the Pokeball, this little lion tiger thingy, we're like, okay, it's Dynamax. So he's gonna Dynamax. Let's see how this one pokes out. Let's see what's going on. He's gonna set up Tailwind. I know he's gonna taunt me. Hey! Oh, he's gonna taunt me. Think I'm going for a sleep powder. Okay, yo, I'm with that all day. Taunted the wrong Pokemon. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. Thank God. I thought he was taunting Regilecki. Thinks I'm going for a sleep powder, but nah, we ain't going for no sleep powder. He goes for Max Quake, and he's going after Regilecki here. After we have that Reflect up, and we're still probably dead here, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's dead. We have the Reflect up. Uh, not a bad turn, I would say. So now, now he could set up Tailwind all day, but... Good Dynamax attack Groudon. Groudon could be great. He does have a special defense boost, but yeah, we're physical attacking on our Groudon, and I think Groudon has to come out here and get that Dynamax. And he could change up weather. He really could, but I think we're fine here. I really do. Ooh, nice, lovely poison on the Tornadas. We take the poison chip damage all day. Chip them up, baby. Chip them up. So we get the poison damage off. And Groudon's got to be your play, right? He's got a 1,000% bigger your play. Where do we go into you? Ooh, where do we go into you? We could go into him. Not too bad here. With that foul play? Foul play could do some big damage here. Could definitely do some big damage. You can't go for quakes. We have that assault vest. Uh... I think he can soak up whatever Solgaleo has to offer, right? Yeah, we'll save it right now. Like I said, we gotta win this weather war. So we can do this. We could go into a Sludge Bomb over on that slot. We could go into, like, a... I think a Foul Play is probably gonna be our, be our shot here, right? Yeah, Foul Play's gotta be our shot here. Definitely gotta be our shot. Let's Foul Play over here. Thing is high on the physical attacking side. And then we could just go into... Hmm. Do we just sludge bomb? We could go into an earth power. We could double down on this thing, but I don't think that's the play. I think we just get rid of it. He's gonna set up a tailwind. We are still just gonna get rid of this thing, and we're gonna go from there. We are just gonna go from there. All right, let's roll out. Let's roll out. This is definitely gonna be a close battle. Definitely gonna be a close battle. The thing is, if I can get off some damage on the Solgaleo, I can definitely drop an easy sucker punch and get off some big, big damage. But I'm hoping foul play can do a huge chunk because this thing is just a big bulky physical attacker and his weakness policy actually isn't proc. We might have wanted to do that. That could have been a good play for us. If we proc his weakness policy and then just hit up with our what's it called? With our Yvelta, it definitely could have been good. But he's going to drop a Quake here. He's going to get that special defense boost and I'm kind of fine with that. We're kind of just wasting out turns from here. We're kind of just wasting out turns from here. And my Yvelta is using physical attacking moves, so... I'm looking at. We do have a reflect slope, which is wonderful. Foul play's gonna poke. Yeah, and that's some big old damage. We did more than half. Probably weakness policy gonna poke here, right? Yeah. More than half damage. Weakness policy does poke out here. And we should have definitely went to an earth power there. Earth power could have definitely been our play, but we're gonna drop a nice lovely sludge bomb, and that does nothing due to the special defense boost. So what I could do from here is uh definitely sucker punch, right? Do I sucker punch or do I just go into a foul play? I think I sucker punch. I think maybe he goes there for you. Well, maybe we get off some big damage. But I think I double down into this thing. And just try to get rid of it. Actually, no. Uh, yeah. We have, we have to double down. Because he goes down anyway. So, we're going to double down in Solgaleo. And we're just going to roll off from there. Let's get it done. I could honestly Dynamax. My Yvelta here could have been a good play. But I still think we're chilling here. I do think we're chilling. Sucker punch going to poke through here. Get off some nice juicy damage. Hurricane's going to miss. That is beautiful. Actually, no. It doesn't miss. We just have a Cobra Berry. Of course it lands. Can we eat that? We should be able to eat that. Mmm, that's tough news. We do not eat that. We just need Yvelta to kind of soak up this shot. And if he does, I think we could be sitting in a really, really good position here. Steel Spike's going to fly here. Should be able to soak that up. Actually, mm, he's weak to policy. 
We still soak. That is beautiful. That is lovely. That is a lovely little soak. Okay, so we have Sucker Punch ready to roll here. He does have a defense boost, but we still have Dynamax, which is absolutely amazing. Which is absolutely amazing. Okay. So hopefully it turns out like Kyogre or something, because we could Sucker Punch take that thing out no problem, and now we can bring out Groudon and Dynamax. And Groudon has a very, very good chance of just clutching up this battle. He's going to swap into Entei. That's totally fine. Inner Focus is going to poke out here, and just, uh, I could just Blades. Or just Max Quake. Max Quake's probably our player. Get that special defense boost. I am really liking that. I am really liking that. Okay. All right, I'm with it all day. How many turns left in Tailwind is the real question. That is the real question. Let's see. Tailwind turns two. All right, so two more turns left in Tailwind. I'm fine with that. And yo, look at that. St you Did you guys just see that stats? Hold up. Oh my lord. This thing is boosted. This thing is boosted. I'm thinking Sucker Punch, yeah, should be able to take that thing out, no problem. So we're going to Sucker Punch, and I'm just going to Dynamax, and I could Rock Fall. But I think Quake is definitely going to be our better player. Hands down. Hopefully this thing's not holding Shuka Berry. It could have Extreme Speed. Oh, it could have Extreme. Oh, that could do me dirty. That could definitely do me dirty. dirty. But we still have Reflect Up. Please don't have Extreme Speed. Please! If this thing doesn't have Extreme Speed, we should be thriving here. We should be looking really, really good. He has to bring that Kyogre, right? Kyogre's got to be his final one, if I had to guess. It's going to be cut it close here. This battle is definitely going to be super, super close. With this special defense boost up here, and we still have our Dynamax, we can definitely soak up some shots. Let's make it happen, people. Let's make it happen. He's going to end up going for extreme speed. Can we soak? Soak that up. Let's go. I love you, Yabelta. I love you. Sucker Punch flies through here. Bilp. Chipping up some damage. Get out of here, Solgaleo. So, Solgaleo is dead. That is wonderful. That is wonderful, yo. This is why I absolutely love you about that. I told you, this thing's just a beefcake. He's a beefcake all day. Reflect definitely helps us out there. Max Quake comes through here. We absolutely dump on the Entei. I'm in love. I'm loving it. Okay, so this guy has one more turn left in Tailwind. He's probably going to throw out the Kai over here. In this case, I'm just going to Sucker Punch. I'm going to get off some damage, and I'm going to send another move here. Which I could go into my Flare and change up Weather. Honestly, if I wanted to. But what do we think we should do? What do I think I should do? Because weather's here. Weather's out and about. Sucker Punch is an absolute must. We got to get off as much damage as we possibly can. And then I think we just change up weather with either Rockfall or Flare, right? Sucker Punch, 100%. Rockfall or Flare? I'm kind of liking Rockfall. I'm kind of liking Rockfall here. Rockfall will do a bit more damage. Let's do it. Run it up. Rockfall doing the damage. Change up this weather all day. Sucker Punch fires through here. We're chipping up some damage just in case he wants a water spout. We can neglect a lot of it. He goes into an Origin Pulse. Yvelta. Who dodged that? Who dodged that? Yvelta dodge it. That's GG's. That's GG's. He's going to proc weakness policy. It is all over. I knew we were able to soak up a shot in our Dynamax form with that plus one special defense. It's GG's. Look at that, yo. Gene's losing his Regilecki early on. We played a little slow. We wasted out Dynamax turns. We got out our ground on there to totally just counteract and dominate the battle. There it is. Battle number one in the bag. Super, super glad about that one because we got to show off Yavelta to his full potential. He absolutely rocked out and dominated the battle there. Soaked up some shots. Sucker Punch coming up clutch. And then we got ground on out there by Dynamaxing him and just sweeping the battle from there. Yes, sir. I'm feeling good, baby. I'm feeling good. Let's get it. Hopping into the second battle here, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Zacian. And I just realized that last team that we saw did not have a Zacian. I think that might be our first time we went up against a team that does not have a Zacian in Series 12. So that was pretty cool. But we're back at it. Zacian, Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Whimsicott, Incineroar, Thunderous, and then he has Milotic. Milotic's kind of scary, but luckily we have no Intimidate mods. We should be able to roll out fine and thrive up against that. So how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like Groudon could definitely be a great Pokemon to lead here alongside with the Venusaur, right? It just seems like we counter a lot with that squad, so that might be our turn one squad. Could definitely be our turn one squad. Unless he wants to lead Wimscott, which he might lead. He might indeed lead Wimscott. And you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. We're going to bring Yavelta. And then last but not least, uh, we bring the Charizard. Charizard could definitely be good back in with the Choice Scarf. Yeah, I'm really liking Charizard in that back end with the Choice Scarf. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Full out Sun Squad here. We got the Groudon. We got the Venusaur. We got the Charizard. That's the Sun Squad. And then we obviously got to bring Yvelta in the back end because he is just so good. He's so good. Like I said in the team preview, I was just like, yo, Yvelta is an absolute beast. I think he's going to be even better in Series 12. We just showcased him in that first battle, and it worked perfectly. It really did. And we didn't even use any Snarls or anything. We were just sucker punching, dropping some big heavy shots with foul play. Really works well. Really, really works well. He's going to end up leading these two, which I'm really cool with. 
I am definitely cool with that. Um, I am kind of scared of that. What's it called? Of that Zacian just hit me with a Behemoth Blade. But in this case, I could honestly just drop a Weather Ball here. You guys told me in the comment section down below that Weather Ball, when it changes in the max form, it is the, still the weather. It just doesn't say if it's super effective or not. That's what threw me off. So thank you to everybody who commented me that tip. I really do like you. You guys are amazing. And look at that. Weather Ball is super effective. Or we can just go into the ground move. What would I rather do? Lower speed's pretty good here. I'm going to do it. Why does it still say not very effective? You guys are scaring me here. You guys are scaring me here. But I'm going to trust you guys. I'm going to trust you here. I'm going to trust you that Max Strike takes that thing out. And then you know what? We are just going to drop a Stone Edge here. I'm going to say that this Weather Ball honestly takes out this uh this Assassin here. Okay, he's just going to withdraw. That's totally fine. Who's he going to go into here? He's going to go into Incineroar. Okay, so he goes into Incineroar here. And, yo, I could have dropped the big old blades here. I could have definitely dropped the big old blades. He's going to get off that Intimidate. Not bad. And we're going to Dynamax this Pokemon. So we Dynamax him. We thrive out here. At least we'll get a nice little speed drop here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But we're going to see. We are going to see. If it's not very effective on this thing, then we know that the Weather Ball is working correctly. But yeah, I'm trusting you guys on this one. Because it's kind of stupid how it doesn't say if it's super effective or not. But I feel like that's Pokemon should definitely update the game and kind of like make that so it kind of like it says it correctly. He's going to set. Oh, this thing's going to go for a rain dance. Okay, so it. Oh, yo, it changes to water. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It changes to water. It changes. Look at it. It's geyser. It works. <laughs> yo, that is hilarious. That is so good. <laughs> He changes the water. Stone Edge connected, man. Big old damage. Getting off some damage here. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh my god, yo. Change the water. That's great. That's honestly great. But he takes away our uh, our speed there. Which kind of stinks. I could go for a Quake. I could go for an Ooze. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for a Vine Lash. Start set, uh, setting up the Vine Lash chip damage. I think I'm just going to swap Groudon. Maybe in the Yabelt here. Probably my play. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's swap. Let's get Yvelta out here. We'll have Groudon come back out and set the weather another time. Get it. And we still have our Choice Scarf Charge in the back, which should be great for countering up on that Zacian. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to end up withdrawing you. And who's going to go back into Zacian, maybe? Going into Zacian? Yes, he brings back out Zacian here. And I'm totally cool with that. I am totally cool with that. So from here, he's going to... Oh, draw me with the Eerie Impulse. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Do me dirty. Eerie Impulse comes out here. We're going to go for that Vine Lash damage here. And it's doing nothing. It's doing nothing. But at least we get off that chip damage. That's actually really, really important. Trapping the Pokemon with Vines. Look how much damage we're just going to get just by doing that. Look at that. It's lovely. Every single turn. Come on, man. Cannot go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that. So definitely a great setup by him. Uh, what can I do from here? Hmm. I think I might swap. What do I do here? He might swap back into Incineroar. Actually, I wouldn't really... I don't see the point there. So I can go here, here, switch out to Fire, and then go into here and swap you if I want to. Which I think I'm going to do. Set that weather yet again. Let's see. He might protect Zacian. Honestly, that could be a play for me. But we're going to go for this because Zacian, you know, is such a huge threat. But we have Incineroar down low on health. We have Tornados down low on health. We can hit Zacian with this. It could be decent damage. Like I said, we're minus two, though. We are minus two, so I'm going to see how much damage we can actually get this. This thing is scary facing me. I think he's just going to Behemoth Blade and drop me, right? Is that this thing's play? What's he going to go for? He's going for a play rough. Can we eat that up? Do all day. That's lovely. That's a lovely eat up. Max player is going to fly through here. Yes, sir. We take it out? Probably not, but get off some decent damage. Okay, yo, I'm with that big damage all around. So we still have the chip damage going out here, so I can protect and have chip damage slowly do some damage. And then I also have my Sucker Punch in the back end. Okay. I'm liking that. So first turn priority is definitely going to be our friend. And we still have Choice Scarf Pokemon. Still have Choice Scarf Charizard. And if he can keep this sun out here, I will be in love with him forever. So what do I want to do here? Uh, Weather Ball could come out here. Weather Ball's probably our play. We could go for Sludge Bomb. Uh, I said we focus down onto this uh, onto this Zassian here. Zassian poses a bigger threat than that thing. So I can go there and I can just protect you. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have Vine Lash Damage start chipping away. It's my best bet my best bet so these guys are kind of going to be down very very soon and then we can sucker punch onto the incineroar but then he still has dynamax which i'm definitely scared about 
Definitely scared about, but we still have Yavelta with Sucker Punch in the back end, and we still have Tree Scarf Charizard, who can do some big damage in this uh in this weather. So hopefully he doesn't change up the weather. I'm really hoping he doesn't change up the weather. He goes straight for Thunderbolt. We should be able to soak that up all day. My boy's soaking. My boy's soaking. Weather Ball's gonna fly through here. Zassing, get on out my face. Get on out my face. And if I had to guess his last Pokemon, it's gotta be his other restricted mon, right? And who was it? Was it Calyrex? I think it was Calyrex. Yo, if it is, yo, we got Sucker Punch. We got all those big moves to do some big damage on that thing. So it's gonna poke out here. One more turn with the Vine Lash. Can take that thing out. And I wonder who he's gonna go into here. It's gotta be his Dynamax Mon, right? It's gotta be his final Mon. Yep, it's Calyrex. We have Yvelta in the back end, which I'm loving. Which I'm loving. Okay, so he's gonna send it as one. And what I would wanna do here. Oh, he's gonna pick up the double kill here easily. He's definitely easily gonna pick up the double kill. But what I really wanna do here is gonna go into. Maybe a sludge bomb look for poison, or do I go for the special attack drop? Or special defense drop? Hmm. Eh, what's her play? Let's go for a sludge bomb. I think maybe going for the poison would be better. Uh, hmm. We'll go for a special defense drop. We'll take it. We have Charizard in the back end, so I do like that. Um, after this, we could just go for blades. We know Vine Lash is just going to chip away and KO it, right? <clears throat> Let's see. How many turns left in that? Yeah, Vine Lash should chip away and kill it, unless it doesn't stay here. Unless it doesn't stay. Why do I have a feeling it might not stay? No, it should stay. It should stay. We're going to go into a uh, Fire Punch here. Let's go into a Fire Punch. Let's do it. Get this thing out of here. But they're obviously going to outspeed. And he withdraws. Okay, he's going to withdraw there. I'm cool with that. He's going to send out Instant Aura. And he just wants that Intimidate out there. And I'm kind of cool with that. Because if we could take out this Pokemon, we could be sitting good. We could be sitting real good. And will Vine Lash take that out? I don't know. I do not know, but Intimidate comes out here. He's sending his Dynamax. We do not have Dynamax, but we have that Yavelta in the back end. And Yavelta is going to work wonders. All these Pokemon are really, really low on HP. But I'm going to have to use Yavelta to actually take out that Pokemon. Charizard can outspeed most and just hit things with Heat Wave, kind of go from there. So I'm with that all day. I'm with it all day. So I think next play, I think he does pick up. Ooh, he actually might not pick up a double kill. Here. He can't. He's Dynamax. So Mind Source can come out here. Take out my Venusaur, please. Oh, I love you. I love you. Take out my minus two Venusaur. Go for it. Do it. Take him out all day. He's going to change up terrain. And he can't fake me out now. That's on him, yo. He changed terrain. He cannot fake me out. That's lovely. That is lovely. He probably just noticed that. He's like, oh, I can't fake out. But he's Grimnade boosted, which is kind of scary. But, again, I think we're, I think we're fine here. Fire Punch going to drop here. Not bad damage. Just need as much as we can. And there's the Vine Lash chipping away. The lovely Vine Lash. The love Take out that Incineroar, please. Yes, sir. Yo, Vine Lash is where it's at. Okay, so now from here, uh, I think bringing out Charizard is definitely going to be your play. While Sun's out here, we got to bring out Charizard. I can just go straight into a Blast Burn if I wanted to. And we could just kind of get after the battle this way. We do have a Soul Vest on our lovely Pokemon, too, on our Yvelta. So we're going to bring out Charizard here. I think Blast Burn. Do we go for the Blast Burn or do we just go for the Heat Wave? I think we just go for the Heat Wave, right? Oh, he could Eerie Impulse me. Which I think he's going to do. I think, oh man, he's going to Eerie Impulse me. I do not have Protect. So Heat Wave, definitely apply. Heat Wave into Fire Punch, maybe? <laughs> um, hmm. We could potentially get a burn with that. So you know what? We're going to go into Fire Punch here. Unless we got the Drought Damage. Let's just let's just roll into this. Heat Wave's going to fly. Oh, he does not. He does not go into the Eerie Impulse. He's not Prankster Eerie Impulse. Put it all day. That should be GG's, right? Phantasm's going to come out here. Who's he taking out? Route on that's GG's all day. All day, yo. Jeans is thriving here. We outspeed with the heat wave. We're gonna be able to get first turn priority with that lovely little uh with that Yavelta. That's GG's, yo. What a great second battle. Your boy is just thriving on the series 12 ladder. I cannot be tamed. I cannot be stopped. Solar power is gonna chip away, and I think drought might be gone. Even if it is, yo, sucker punch. Bop, this thing out of my face. Everybody knows Calyrex just cannot eat up sucker punch. Sucker punch just absolutely tees off on him. It's so good, especially with an Urshifu, but this one's with the Yvelta. And this thing's not even full well, so it's over. I am going to go into a Blast Burn, though. We can't move next turn. Oh, we're choosing the Heat Wave. Totally forgot. But luckily, we did go into a Heat Wave over that Blast Burn. Definitely a way better play. Here's Dynamax. What's he going to do here? He does not... What's he do? Oh, oh my God. There's Psychic Terrain. I'm stupid, but I'm still the best because Charizard killed it. <laughs> I totally forgot about Psychic Terrain. If I would have lost that because of that, I would have cried. I would have cried, but yo, it's all good. That is GG's. We go 2-0 to get this video started. Wasn't I just making fun of our last opponent for setting the Psychic Terrain and not being able to fake out? And then your boy tries to sucker punch into Psychic Terrain? 
It happens sometimes. It happens. That's pretty funny. But hey, we still picked up a win there. We're hopping into our third battle. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. We're going up against a Palkia and Ice Rider Counter X team. Alongside with Grim Snarl, Top of Finny, Shed Ninja. Definitely really scary. And then last but not least, he's got Red Zelike. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? We definitely gotta bring the fire squad. We gotta bring Charizard. We gotta bring Groudon. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that. He's probably gonna bring Palkia, maybe even lead Palkia. I kind of want to go into Umbreon here. I think like Umbreon could be really, really good at controlling the battle. Put Pokemon to sleep and just go in from there. So I'm liking that lead. Uh, I kind of want to go into you as well. I think Yvelta, him, and then Charizard and Groudon in the back end. Let's run it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. And let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But, yo, it's all good even if we lose because those first two battles were super, super good. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Like I've been saying, if you enjoy the content on channel, leave a like on today's video. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys have no idea how much likes and subscribes really does benefit me as a content creator. But uh, before we get started in the third battle, you guys should definitely let me know for question of the day. When do you think the next big Pokemon game is going to come out? Let me know in the comment section down below because we just got Legends Arceus. We already got BDSP. We got nothing announced so far. So when are they going to announce and when are they going to release a new big Pokemon game? I think we're going to get it next holiday season. 2022 holiday season. I really do think that's going to be our next big Pokemon game. I think they are going to announce Gen 9 rather soon. Considering we're in Series 12 over here of this uh, of this game right here. I think it's going to go on for maybe like till Series 15 and then like Gen 9 is going to bust out here. And it's just going to be absolutely amazing. He's going to end up leading these two Pokemon, which I'm totally cool with. I can just yawn, which I might actually do. I think I might just yawn onto you. And then just drop a lovely little Snarl here. Palkia is definitely a special attack, and so this could really benefit us by going into this. Hopefully, Dynamaxes him. If he Dynamaxes Palkia, we're sitting in a great spot for a lead here. Because we're going to get off a yawn on that thing, and we're going to Snarl that thing special attack down. So I love this lead, and I love that we're getting out Umbreon in this third and final battle. Because Umbreon's really, really good, especially in certain situations. Like this one, I just thought he would come in here and do a lot of work up against a lot of these Pokemon. So let's see, Dynamax Palkia. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it up. Run it up all day. All day long. All day long, baby. Palkia's going to Dynamax. We're going to hit that thing with the big old mwah, little yawn action. Yawn up right on him. Say, hey, yo, time to take your melatonin and get to bed. It's past your bedtime. Fake tears can come out here and it don't affect us. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Fake tears don't affect this, dude. Actually, pranks don't affect us. We're dark type. Get out of my face. We get that We get that uh, special attack drop. He's going to go for guys. We're going to say, yo, that might be the tastiest snack you ever had. And we're going to eat that up. And now the cream of the crop here. Palkia, go, go to sleep. What are you going to do? Swap? What are you doing? We're yawning up on you, dude. Yawn. All day long. Palkia's getting drowsy, and I really like where we're sitting. So I could go for, uh, I think Snarl here is going to be definitely be your play. Snarl up on you. Then I could Oblivion Wing. I could Foul Play. I think Oblivion Wing might be my play. Just start chipping up on this uh, Grim Snarl. Because I'm really not going to be worried about the Palkia. He's either going to swap it, or he's going to stay in there and keep taking these special attack drops. So Oblivion Wing, we're going to hop up here. We're going to shoot a nice and lovely beam and get off some damage. So this lead right here is kind of here to pester, get off some sleeps, waste out turns, which is exactly what it's doing. Hopefully he's going back after Umbreon, and he doesn't. Umbreon might die here. Umbreon does die here, and that's totally fine. Palky goes to sleep here, and Umbreon did exactly what it needs to do. Waste out, of, waste out a Dynamax Pokemon. 100% did it. He's going to Spirit Break into me. You know, get a special attack drop, which kind of kind of stinks. And you go going lie. I'm not even going to front. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, we could uh, bring out Groudon here. And I really do like bringing out Groudon here. Yep, let's bring out Ground. I think we're going to save our Dynamax for Charizard. Could really benefit us here, especially if he does bring what's called in the back end. Ice Rider Calyrex. So, we're going to set the Drought. We change up this weather. We're going to say, hey, rain is not allowed here. We don't play with the rain. This is why we bring Ground in the back end for most battles. So, from here, I could just go straight for Blades. Blades is probably our play, and I could Oblivion Wing. Who else speed to? That's the real question. Who else speed to? 166. Okay, cool. So we're gonna bring out, we're gonna bring out, uh, we're gonna Oblivion Wing here. So I gotta make sure this Grimstar goes down, because if it doesn't, it's going to hit my Yvelta really, really hard. So, okay, Grimstar sets up a reflect. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So good thing we actually double down into this Pokemon, because his blades will not be able to take it out on so with the reflect up. So Oblivion Wing's gonna poke through here, chip up some damage, lovely, and blades still might not be able to take it out. We get some HP recovery, lovely, 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 and I can do that shot again if I wanted to. Palkia still slump. Yes, sir. Run it up all day. Run it up all day. Blade's gonna fly through here. And we get off some big damage. And oh, dude, that thing's on one. 
That thing is on one. Get that thing out of my face. Get that thing out my face. So from here, we're dropping another blades, and I'm just gonna double down on the Palkia with a nice little Oblivion Wing. Cause I'm just gonna keep trying to get some HP back. I'm just gonna keep soaking in this HP. That's what I love about you about the dude. Pester's down with special attack drops, has first turn priority, has HP recovering moves, and then foul play works out so well. So he's gonna set up the light screen now. He's doubling up on the screen. So screen's definitely really, really good here. Really, really good. Oblivion Wing's gonna poke. More damage. The more damage, the merrier. Bob chipping up and that thing is soaking. That thing is soaking up all day. So Reflect definitely, definitely helping him out a lot. A lot. Palkia wakes up, of course he does, and he's gonna drop a spatial wren. Take out my uh Yvelta, please. He's going after Groudon. Can you eat that Groudon? You should be able to. Yep, all day. All day he gets a crit. That's fine. It's fine because you know that move has a high chance of critting. We're gonna drop this, build some big damage, and Grip Snarl is going to drop. Hey, right, I'm I'm still liking where we're sitting. I really do like where we're sitting. I honestly really, really like where we're sitting here. I'm gonna bring out Calyrex. I'm fine with Calyrex coming out here. And in this case, I could protect the Groudon. Because we still have our Charizard. Charizard can, like, just absolutely roll through Pokemon. I can protect you and do this. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this turn a lot. Here. I'm really liking this turn. Protect him. Protect him or uh, Groudon from dying. And then just drop a big old foul play. And bring it down to enough damage where Sucker Punch can probably take that thing out, right? Glacial, ooh. Ooh. That thing outspeeds me. This thing's a fast little one. I thought we were going to outspeed it. Okay, now we're sitting in a tough spot. Eat it. Nope. No shot. Oh, my God, dude. Fast Calyrexes? That's what's so crazy about Calyrex. You could build them super, super slow to just thrive in Trick Room, or you could build them super, super fast to do something like that. Space Ryan's gonna poke out here. We're blocking. Okay, so Charizard, 1000%. That's come out here. Well, he's our last Pokemon. We're gonna Dynamax him. We're gonna drop a Flare here. We're gonna get off some Pester damage. And we're gonna roll off from there. Or, or I can think about this one. Or I can go into an Airstream here. I could definitely go into an Airstream here. And just take speed. What is my play? Because I could go Blades. Uh. No, we're going to go for Blades here. I'm going to have to Dynamax and go into a G-Max Wildfire here. Pester Damage is going to have to chip him around here. I'm with it all day. I'm with this play all day. We have to get started here. We have to get rolling here. There's no need for us to make a dumb play and try and try to make something happen when we can just dump on Pokemon in front of us. We're going with the easy play. We're not trying to make any reads. We're not trying to do any of this. We're going with the easy play, looking for the win here. Come on, baby. Charizard with the Dynamax. G-Max, I should say. Can definitely thrive out here and win us the game. Could definitely win us the game here. Let's see how this one plays out here. And this thing's still out speed. God dang. God dang. Why is this thing so fast? Is it choice? Could definitely be choice. Wow. I think cooking. He's cooking. He's dead now, though. Wow, man. Wow. That is some fast horse. That is a fast horse. He goes for Space Run, we're dead, right? Solar Power can take us out. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. Solar Power ends up taking us out. That's going to be GG's. But yo, that horse was cooking. That horse was cooking. I was not expecting it to be that fast. Maybe it was Choice Scarf. You never know. But hey, 2 and 1 for today's video. Not too bad. Honestly, this team right here was one of my favorites I used for Series 12 so far. I absolutely love it. You got the Sun team, which always works super, super well. But then you got the Yvelta on this team, which I absolutely love using. Was super good in all situations, and we used him in every single battle. And honestly, he did great in every single battle. We won our first two. Last one we lost, but hey, it was all good. We got that Regilecki down there. Got to show off some of its screens. Getting off some damage with that Pokemon. And we got to use Umbreon and put a Dynamax Pokemon to sleep in the third and final battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.